And we're back after a little bit of grinding. I did pick up enough points to get Ash that quickening. She can't quite use that yet because she doesn't have enough mana to pull that off after throwing around some healings around, but she, she does have it. And over here you can see how much of a chain it did. It just basically killed around 50 people. They're like, oh, what are you? We, we gotta move, guys. Like, what are you doing? Oh, it's just, just you know, killing the whole Imperial army. Because they're just a bunch of scrubs. I think this is actually where we're supposed to go through that other door. And if it's not, then, well, Ash got Libra on her from her equipment. So we can see the levels of things, and. They're actually level 10, so despite Ash being one level higher than us and Vostar being four levels higher than us, I would say we're we're kind of over leveled for this level uh, for this part of the game, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Oh look at that! That guy's. Uh, do I want to throw around a quickening here? I think we're just gonna stick to auto attack. Does Vaughn even throw around heals? No, that's a license word. Man, you should you should be healing people. Stop being so selfish. Yeah. I know you got your cool quickening and everything, and you want to keep that around to use on the boss, but uh, we really should be less selfish. Oh, there's more now, huh? Yeah, see, if you, if you attack these, it says they're... Well, this one's level 12. But most of them are pretty low level, and somehow they have almost the same HP as us. Which I'm kind of sad about. Because I thought that uh, we had good equipment, and apparently there's something we're supposed to press here. What? Oh, that's convenient. What's a security report? Well, that's a load of useless information. So the source of the anomaly is probably the amount of death going on around here. And that can be changed by eliminating all of the Imperials on the ship, I would assume. Although there seems to be an endless supply of those. Now it's funny because at the end of the game, you get all your concurrence and all your quickenings up. Which makes me wonder why exactly Dalmasca f uh, fell to the Empire. They have gate crystals keeping track of everything. So really, they should have been fine. Um, just someone someone with a level 3 quickening just stick around at the gate, you know, touch the gate crystal, do the concurrence, freezing everything in time, and touch the gate crystal so you can do that again. Because <laughs> there go the Imperial Army, I don't give a shit. Now we can't always just run away from everything, but I can't really care less about that. This place seems surprisingly linear, but full of dead ends. You want to take the horizontal path now? Which means probably taking the vertical one down is better than the path that we've taken, but again, this is not a speed run. I don't know what's happening, and there's the annoying alarm back again. I do like the number of enemies streaming in. 
because that gives me a lot of oh. guys run away from the dog. I like my stuff. I don't want the dog to break my chain. Just, just, just run away from this dog. Well, I guess any one of these will work. Well, that dog is actually quite annoying. I don't know what's more annoying though, the dog or the bats. But now we've been through every single area. We can... Yeah, go back. I think I can actually go straight back. Is that a dog or a guy? That's a guy. I can kill that one. Good job, guys. When I see a giant shiny thing on the ground, I pick it up. Even if it's right beside the zoning thing. Which might make us kill a dog and break our chain, but that's okay. Now what i like to know is when this alarm will actually just go away for good. He did say, a monster did say we have to retrack our steps and that's exactly what we're doing, but... That seems to be taking a while, and uh, I don't know how about this alarm. Gone. It's okay. We're okay. Geese knows you've escaped. You must hurry. You are Captain Azalus. You will follow me. We must reach the airships before they do. You would let us leave knowing who we are. Lady Ash, by all rights, you ought not even to exist. That you and Captain Ronsenberg were made to appear dead is like a hidden thread laid bare. Your actions hereafter will pull at that thread, and we will see what it unravels. This is our chance. We must see this through and get to the bottom of it. I believe tis for the good of Dalmasca and the good of the Empire. Very well, then. Thanks, Lamont. Uh, I must apologize. Hmm. Penelo, for you. May it bring you good fortune. Thanks. Let us go. Well, that guy's gone, so he's not going to be taking our experience anymore. Uh, Penelo also returned to the party. I don't know what level she is. Actually, we can find out. Overleveled, just like the Ash. Um, let's go back. Now, this is my old team. And now that we got everyone we can in this game. There's gonna be followers joining us as guests, but those don't really join our party permanently. But all the permanent members are here, which is nice. Um, I'm actually gonna throw around a healing on Bosch. Magic. White Cure Lawn. Such a great shame. I must confess, I thought you the one who would help us restore peace to Dalmasca. No matter, we hold the proof of your royal lineage. A maid of passing resemblance will serve our purposes now. As for you, my dear, the Empire requires you no more! Ah. Whoa. 
Where was that? The Nethersite. <sighs> your Majesty does not disappoint. Ever quick to spurn an honorable surrender, as was your father. You know nothing of my father! The ash is pissed! You know what? We're gonna do that thing again, and we're gonna do it properly this time. How about some of this? How about some of this? Damn it, that wasn't a lot of quickenings. Did we burn the scrubs at least? We burned all the scrubs! Secured an Atomos. Come. An Atomos? All skiff, no ship. Hardly fit for a leading man. So I can fly it then? You mad? <laughs> Can't we go faster? Not yet. gone too fast they'd have noticed Althea, your handkerchief. I thought you might want it back. I shall wear it close to my heart. Perhaps you forget all that Ondor has wrought. I do not forget, Majesty. It was by his counsel, dangerous though it may have been, that we were able to free you. You must meet with him, Your Highness, and give ear to his words. He may act in league with the Empire, but his heart is not. It is as he says. I ought not have kept Ondor at so great a distance for so long a time. I have played the fool. You were only being cautious. Majesty, I would ask you for some time. On our own, we struggle in vain to restore Dalmasca. I must search out some other way. Until I should find it, I would have Bash remain at your side. Doubt him you may. But I measure his loyalty to Dalmasca no less than my own. I know you would not speak so lightly. Very well. Keep her well. Go to Ondor and there await my return. Well now. I'm not gonna save just yet. And apparently you have to talk to him again. Now I don't know if your quickening power actually scales as your level, because they did manage to hit a 3000 on that T-Rex. Um, I think it might be that it scales as your level, because it, it'll be silly if it doesn't. But that was a pretty overpowered quickening near the end there, even though he only pulled off three or four hits.
Makes me feel really happy that we picked it up. When Vossler learned my father had been killed the night of the treaty signing, he returned to Ravenaster, there to aid my escape. There was still time before Vane's reach extended too far. We thought that you could protect me. However, when I then made the announcement that you had taken your own life, I must have seemed a model citizen of the Empire. The announcement, you see, was Vane's suggestion. Of course, at the time I was reluctant, but I could not perceive his reasons. Now it is clear he meant to drive a wedge between us. Halim, we are past all this. Bushirba must stand with us. We can stop Bane! <sighs> I once knew a girl whose only wish was to be carried in her uncle's arms. Your Majesty is a woman grown now. Then Bushirba will aid me. Suppose for a moment you were to defeat Vane. What then? You cannot simply rebuild your kingdom with the only proof of your birthright stolen. Without that, the Grand Kiltia San Boomises cannot and will not recognize your Majesty as the rightful heir. You may yet be a princess, but without proof of your identity, you are powerless. You will remain with me. We do nothing till the time is right. I cannot just wait. Then what does your majesty propose we do? Uh, Uncle Halim. Incidentally, what is the going rate for rescuing princesses these days? Food would be a start. The good stuff, mind you. This can be arranged, though it will take some time. Time enough for a bath, I hope. Dirty business, you know. Ah, best bring a change of clothes, too. What are you doing? <laughs> this is Balthier's ship. I'm going to retrieve the Dawn Shard. It's the proof that I need. I know where it's hidden. I'll return his airship later. Are you crazy? This is something that I have to do. Not only for myself, but for all those who have fallen. I will not be made to hide. <sighs> I'll fight alone if I must. You still have Bosch, right? Besides, you can't just go around stealing people's ships. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to concentrate. That's quite enough, Your Majesty. What, what do, do you think? think? A, A bit, bit over the top. top. In my line of work, you never know when something like this might come in handy. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to concentrate. concentrate. Uh, uh. I'm leaving you with a Marquis. You can't! Trust me, you're better off staying here. Suppose you kidnapped me instead. You're a sky pirate, aren't you? Then steal me. Is that so much to ask? What do you have that I would want? The Dynast King's treasure. The Dawn Shard is but one of the riches that lie waiting in King Wraithwall's tomb. <whistles> King Wraithwall, you say? Kidnapping royalty is a serious offense. It won't do much to lower the bounty on your head. How much is the price on your head these days, I wonder? Allow me to escort you in Vossler's place. Will you be joining us? What? Are you kidding? I don't want to stick around this place. Then I'm coming too. Canelo. Don't leave me here. <sighs> of course not. 
Then it's settled. We should leave before the Marquis realizes she's missing, like proper kidnappers. Dr. Sid, does this set Draclaw? I have confirmed he receives funds from Lord Vane. His agency in the fall of Nabudis is also certain. Yet, with Judge Zekt, who led the assault, missing, the truth remains difficult to ascertain. The long, cold years have clouded my eyes. I cannot see my own son's heart. <laughs> <coughs> My lord. <coughs> this illness will claim me. So then, who is to be my successor? The Senate fears the capable Peregrine Vane. They prefer a young fledgling emperor. Gabranth. Once in the past, I laid siege to your homeland. The Republic of Landis is long since gone. My allegiance lies wholly with the Empire. Perhaps. But what of your brother? He did not accept us as you did. He fled to Dalmasca. Did you never think to follow him? I follow his every move. He is an enemy of the Empire. He will be cut down. So you would kill even your own brother for the Empire. Be that as it may, Gebranth. Your ruthlessness is not without merit. But it must not become this way with Larsa. You must ensure that it does not. So then you ask me to be his sword, to strike where he might not. Rather be his shield. Gabranth, keep your close watch on Vane. His is the keenest blade of all. My lord. Do this for me, Gabranth. I could not... I could not bear to see my sons... <laughs> war with each other again. <clears throat> Coughing. Coughing. Coughing and wheezing. I think that was enough cutscenes for one video, so I guess I'm going to save after all the cutscenes are done, which should be, I guess, now. Either that or it's a long loading screen for another half hour cutscene. This come in handy often? It's tough being popular. Wouldn't want any admirers dropping in while we're away. Well now, that's as far as she goes. We'll be in Yacht from here onwards. Across the Sand Sea, to the Valley of the Dead, and to King Wraithwall's tomb below. So when you're hmm? in Yacht, Skystones don't work at all. 
That's why we gotta hoof it the rest of the way, you see? Happy you get to teach me something for a change? Well, if you wanna be a sky pirate, you gotta know your... Hey, what do you mean for a change? Come on, At least we thought it. to bring I'm entertainment. Oh yeah? Says who? You wanna see what <sighs> they think about it? I wouldn't be so confident. That's nice and all, but this is really what I'm after.